Oh, hi there. So, what you think of that last video? Sorry we had to load it twice, but we ran into this copyright thing. We don't really know how it works because we had the rights to the music, but whatever. Anyway, if you had to watch the same one twice, sorry about that. This is a continuation of us in Homer. Now we're meeting up with our buddy Adam at Breakwater Electric, and we're starting to actually, this is where the rubber hits the road, now that we're off the snow. The bus is in there at my buddy Adam's at Breakwater Marine and Electric. And they're going to be getting us squared away and working those nasty gremlins out of our electrical system, as well as upgrading us to solar. So let's go see how it's working out. Morning. Good morning. Or afternoon, I guess. We brought presents. Thank you. <laughs> well, we're not in. So here's kind of what we're dealing with here right now. Okay. We're going to install this inverter. Well, I think we'll be able to bend into the bus somewhere. It, well, we're, we're going to bend right up into this is what I want to do. I want to do, actually do two circular bends. Okay. Um, you know, because it's almost do it right here too. It's kind of an open spot. Well, well, there's 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 something there. there. Oh, well, okay. Well, it's just a big open. Yeah, we can just run just the dock. Ideas. <laughs> oh, whatever you want. Actually, that would even be easier and better. Okay. Yeah, that'll be much faster. We can just do a six inch round. Yeah. And the six inch round duct in between and the six inch round vent cover there. And Outstanding. Hey man, yeah. you know that switch between shore and generator and whatever? Here's what it looks like. That panel on the far bulkhead there. See a panel. And then there's like behind there's the insulation. Well, it's right underneath. Yeah. You know, there's like that's not access. Your AC. Oh. And so we're just going to do point to point to figure out what cable is going where. You know, okay. Use a runner with a meter because yeah. that just doesn't look like fun getting oh, yeah, into there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's funny because I hear something go click and I'm like, wait, it's starting faster when I need to. Big open oil, and there's you definitely leaking some oil. Almost oh, definitely. Well, that's how you know there's oil in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a perfect deal. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I was hoping we'd be able to gain access to that oil around the head. And you told them that battery back there isn't connected. Yeah, that battery's not connected. It's just, I don't know why that battery's there. I don't remember what Aaron said. Aaron said it doesn't do it. So, you see the battery back there? The negative yep. is not hooked up. That battery is a placeholder. It doesn't do a dang thing. Okay. Um, there's there's a, a, just for weight? Or? Originally it did something, but the battery is <laughs> junk, okay. and it's tied in with all the other batteries. And there's no functioning isolator, so I'm like, why am I having a junk battery dragging all my other batteries down? So I pulled the negative off. Got it. The positive laying on there because I thought, well, it keeps it out of the way. Can you write down on the list to? Uh, oh, did you yeah. transfer everything over? Yeah. Yeah. Um, eliminate the generator battery. This it's so much fun having somebody at work. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a part of us. So here's what I'm thinking for these panels. Okay. The we just found most of the access points. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, we're, that's great. Yeah, you know, we we have to do a exploratory. Yep. Yeah. It's surprisingly dust free up there, isn't it? Yeah. No. It's, I expect it's really good. Fun. The whole system. So what I'm thinking. Actually, I don't think we should cover this. Um, okay. Because... It's also an emergency thing, isn't it? It, it is an emergency egress. Mm -hmm. And if this thing starts leaking, you don't want to have to pull your freaking panel and the strut off in order to try to seal this thing up. Okay. But, you know, I would probably just leave it. So kind of what I'm thinking is running two panels on you know, just right. outboard this side, mm -hmm. and then back aft, two panels on the starboard side. Perfect. So we'll drop down in that back corner for the two aft panels, and then the other one will come down to here. Okay. So it's already there's a, there's a wire run for, for air conditioning. Well, yeah, there's there's a like a janky roof hole already. I'll put an actual, an actual shell, roof hole. Yeah, well, because it used to have an, a condenser. Oh, okay. on the roof. Yep. In the horn. 
that was kind of a it's a wonder Lodge trademark but it also only works on itself. Oh, yeah. So, he eliminated it. Oh, wow, is that the Hokey Cake Shop we're talking about? This thing. Wow, I've never seen it before. Yeah. That is Hokey. That's super Hokey. There's a lot of stuff that I need some, I'm gonna buy some DAP. Yep. You know, this little Lapsy one. Um, which is, you know, that's what I use on, on all my RVs today. So, yeah, kind of what I'm thinking where Kyle was saying, we'll have two running four and a half. That way you can still walk on this end to gain access to sweep it and do anything up here. And then on this side, we actually have the panels up here. So back here, that way to still balance your whole seating wheel. Um, you can have two back on this corner and I can see if I can see So these will be on the service side? Yep, there's going to be two right. So you'll come out of your little you call that the goat rail? Goat rail, yeah. You'll have to step basically right on to the side of the panel and go that way around to get to this. Mm -hmm. You know, so it'll, it's going to make it a little bit more of a maze than it already did. You know, so that's, that's what we talked about last night. Yep. You know, four aft, four, four aft starboard, and then on the two little four starboard. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't be able to step anywhere other than on top of the goat rail. You'd have to balance in order to get around it. Yeah, and I don't want to do that. No. no. So, that's kind of what I'm saying. Back here, see up there. It's still getting an actual use. It helps on double screen because it's not going to be still in half. You know, you've got two panels back here that you get. You've got the same on the front side. You've got the garbage on the front side. Like, like does any amount of snow cut them out or like some for me it's snowed with that? Yep, so basically once you get you well know, it's nice that we crashed all the sun and just got that. There's a little bit of snow is okay. Solar panels work way better than the cold. You, know, you actually get a lot more voltage even on three hours of good sunlight in the winter yeah. than you get out of six hours in the summer. You know, because your panels, once they warm up past it, by three, they start, you know, you have a bunch of induced voltage loss because of the previous cells in, in the panel. Oh. So as they warm up, they get less and less efficient. Got it. And then when I disconnect both battery banks, like we were saying, the, char the solar charge still works. The solar charge will still charge the battery. Okay. That's perfect. Now that we know we've got two battery banks, I'm either going to get a dual output charge controller mm -hmm. or we're going to do, you know, replace this charge isolator with the Argo FET and have both your alternator and the solar panels come to this so that regardless of which one is running, it'll mm -hmm. be charging both. So I got to see what's going to be more feasible. Okay. I like re-engineering the whole thing. Well, it's just going to be a lot smarter and a lot yep. easier to deal with. These things I love oh. freaking jumper. <laughs> jumper plugs. That is awesome. And they work. Yeah. We used them we used to them. start yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that is totally awesome. Uh, now that I know that those that other side is a freaking start cell, though, it's, it's weird that they put golf cart batteries in there because they're not start batteries. Right. Um, you know what I mean? So when those batteries, when yeah. these tank out, I should probably put starter batteries in there. You should. You should probably. Do they make a six volt deep cycle start batter? No, you don't want, or do I want you know, six volt. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, that's why I don't know why they did that. Your start should be a 4D. Would a 4D fit in there? I think that's a bit strange. Oh. I think this is supposed to be a 4D. Well, this is probably a lot cheaper than a 4D. No, no, they're about, they're about the same. Really? Yeah. So. It's just I'll probably cool. going to put that switch right here. Perfect. And that way you can still you keep the rotella up there. Yeah, and my emergency tools. Yep. Or wash fluid everywhere every time <laughs> I pop that back off. We need to figure out a better way to, yeah, you know, like a snake yeah, I try pillar to, or something. Okay. Like a long funnel doesn't work either because it's the top of the door. Well, yeah. I, There's not a good way to put it. I've, I've got one for my uh, skid steer, you know. 
So those flexible ones. One of the flexible ones. That's probably what I'm gonna do. This is the first time I had to fill it. First time I've used it. I didn't even know it worked. Yep. So we're probably gonna make us we're gonna do a solution of baking soda and water and spray both of these components down to get rid of all the acids. Great. You should have because this one was this one was really coated too and Larry cleaned it out. Yeah, this is after one cleaning. Yeah. Yep. He already did one dose. That's just wash your food. <laughs> wash your food or monkey's blood. It's all over in there. <laughs> the two. You familiar Everything, with that term? Everything's goopy in here. This stuff. Monkey's blood? Yeah, no. it's, the, it's the red Lucas grease. Oh! Yeah, the... And, yeah. The red and tacky? Yep. Yes. I've actually got a tub of it over there. That's I love stuff. that stuff. Yep. Do you believe these work? These are, uh, heated. Top and bottom. Both sides. It's the first time. Oh. When we were going over the past, we had a thermal inversion and everything. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'll try it. Like, <laughs> next thing you know, I see this, like, weird thing show up in all four of them. And then they're clear. And I'm like... This is great, Adam. I'm really. All right, well, we'll let you get back to your business. No, that's all good. So, in case you figured it out same time we did, the audio on the camera we were using is eh, less than good. We're learning as we go here, and it's really fun for you guys to be along as we learn what we're doing. And our sound is going to be better. Well, because now we're figuring it out. We hope. We hope. Anyway. As usual, really appreciate you guys coming along. Appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting like. Don't forget to hit thumbs down twice if you didn't like it. Next week, we're gonna be picking up the bus and our buddy Adam is gonna be giving us a tour of all the work that he did with the solar, the inverter, the rewiring, and you're gonna see a guy probably doesn't wanna work on another Wonder Lodge, but I tell you what, it was fun for us anyway. See you next week.